hello guys so in this video here um, I just want to go through uh, X macro simple example and uh, I must give credit to the Creel I've looked at his video and then I tweak my own way into understanding this stuff now this is a code here for an X macro so you're seeing that we have days of the week all right and we have X which is like another macro and we have a uh, like let's say any variable or any whatever we want to define here so X Monday Tuesday Wednesday all these here days of the week now this is the first macro days of week so if you maybe input in a code days of week it will actually replicate all of this here all right now in x macro this x here is an x macro so here we are defining this sec this is macro number one this is macro number two so macro number one if you substitute it will it will give you all of this here right yeah it will give you all of this here right if you substitute macro number one now macro number two is defined here this x day of week is defined as int day of week is equal to zero so if you put x Monday you're gonna get here this is gonna be int of Monday equals zero which so look at from this macro this is macro number two it's gonna expand to this so if you look at my pre-processed output file here right you can see that this here after main because we're using days of week to expand this whole macro here so we will have really here um, X Monday X Tuesday X Wednesday all of them and then each one of them will expand into um, let's I don't know maybe green so this here expands here all right so this would expand into x monday x tuesday and then this expands here all right now when you finish you can undefine this macro you still retain Monday, Tuesday, this, this original here, right? Uh, X Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but you can do it in a different format. So here now, you're using X day of week, right? This, this here. And you're concatenating it, this macro. So this is like macro version three now right so here this is the version three so this macro you're defining this e underscore double hash day of week so you're concatenating e with the day of the week and you have a comma here so now you have an enum and you call it days enum and you just put days of the week which is this original macro now this is gonna expand to x monday which now gonna expand to e monday this then you're gonna have e tuesday this is gonna expand to e tuesday all right so 
the benefit and when you finish you undefine this macro x now you can use this list and create a different macro to run with this list here to expand it to something else so in this case i have macro one for macro one well, the first scenario is like you have two macros, macro one, the macro one and macro two. Macro two, you can redefine it in many different ways and you retain macro one now as your, as your fixed macro, which can expand to give you all these, um, whatever you have as a second macro and then the second macro, you can tweak it differently and you can get different outcomes. Now, you might wonder what is all of this here. So this is a C file, all right? So what I did was to compile the file. I did it in two formats and I'll, I'll put it here so you can see. So the first way I use is GCC, right? dash e all right and the file name was x macro one dot c so this would be x underscore macro one dot c and then i put the output into x macro one dot i all right now the other way to do this is to say gcc dash e dash o all right and my output here let's say we call this v2 x macro one dot i and then x underscore macro right one dot c so these are two different ways to generate this output that I have here. Now, when I have the output, this X macro one that I, what I did was to use Vim. So I did a VI into X macro, right? One that I, and then I hit escape, and then colon, then I set number so I can get the number so all of this is on the side but the, the idea in this video is to get a better understanding of X macro um, so yeah um, this code here I don't want to take credit for something I didn't do um, I looked at a video with the Creel and uh, that was done using Visual Studio, uh, nah, yeah, VS Studio. It didn't go into this format here. So I'm doing it in a different format and uh, just trying to, to understand this concept better. All right, so I will stop here for now, guys. Bye.